going on to you aries so you have the uh page of pentacles you have the strength four of cups queen of wands the eight of pentacles the uh queen of pentacles ten of pentacles a lot of pentacle cards showing up the magician <laughs> page of wands and last but not least the world a lot of earthy cards so a lot of you Aries are very much so down to earth. A lot of you Aries are very much so worried about your your coinage, your coinage, your collection, your coin collection, you know, your money. But the Page of Pentacles, the Strength, the Four of Cups, a lot of you Aries are setting yourselves up to be set pretty much for life. Or if not for life, be able to actually relax for a a certain period of time right you're setting yourselves up for life financially you're a lot of you Aries are making certain business decisions behind the scenes and it, it, it would be very you understand that it's, it's to your advantage like I said before Aries is industrious like I said before it's not like I'm saying anything new here you Aries Aries is, is an industrious zodiac sign there's a reason why Capricorn and Aries can go hand in hand when it comes to working, right? Getting things done. So the Four of Cups now represents, like I said, setting yourselves up um, for success. The Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, however, represents just understand that your personal relationships may have a little bit of a toll in the sense that uh, love, okay? But at the same time, the Eight of Pentacles, a lot of you Aries are thinking about yourselves, like I said, how to set yourself up financially for success to where you don't have to uh, worry so much, work so hard to get your coin collection up, you know? So um, the Queen of Pentacles now is about how, since that's the case, you're becoming the ultimate business person, right? A very good business person, fill in the blank. So as a result, right, you're proud of yourself. The Ten of Pentacles, you want to be able to leave a legacy behind. That's something that a lot of you Aries may not necessarily speak up and say, but a lot of you Aries would want to leave a legacy behind. You want to be able to have little ones, meet a significant other, have little ones, and then pass that on and have those little ones grow up and as they build that as well. The Magician now represents how you... Aries as well and see that's the magic of it you want to actually leave a legacy back but I'm seeing how a lot of you Aries may not necessarily think that certain people may may want the very same things that you do but again a lot of you Aries are performing a form of magic because you're going from nothing because Aries because let's face it right like for the most part I'm not saying every single last Aries in the world but for the most part, Aries, a lot of Aries come into this world, born into this world, having a harsh upbringing, right? A, a harsh beginning in life, right? And I know because I'm speaking as an Aries moon, right? You know, I came from Trinidad, came to the 50 states from Trinidad since I was like four right trying to build a life for myself right had had a house you know had some chickens on it and a dog and everything like that right but at the same time right uh at the same time took a risk because i you know because my family wanted a bigger opportunity so Aries has a story like that, right? A lot of you Aries have a story like that. The situation where it's like, you know, you, you, you start like like cancer. Like you start from nothing, right? You and Cancer Crab start from nothing. And then now it's like you make these certain decisions and it's like it's it's grandiose, big business decisions. And, and it's like, look at where it is that you came from. You came from trash. You came from hardship to now it's like you you chill it like you you know so the thing about it is that the page of wands is about and you a lot of you aries are in the search for a significant other though 
that the world now represents, you just need to put it together. That's that's the last thing that a lot of you areas are missing. You need to put what it is that you learn in business and in love together, right? When you are getting to know someone after a certain amount of time, when you realize that those people, you can trust them, right? Go into business together, you know? That way the two of you can be in the same industry because the world is about the amalgamation of those worlds. The, the world representing planet, planet Earth, this is, this is the reason why it is that, um, this is the reason why, uh, uh, what's his name? Was saying, was talking about, uh, Galileo was talking about how the earth is the center of, of the of the solar system. The earth is the center of the universe because it's showing that our experiences here and what it is that we've learned from those other worlds, right? The spiritual world or spiritual part of ourselves, the soul part of ourselves, the physical part of ourselves, the this part of ourselves that we blend together and we amalgamate, we join together, we mix together. This is the world, the planet Earth is the right Galileo is how it is that we blended all this stuff together, our own experiences here on Earth. So a lot of you Aries are looking for that that bundle. You are looking for that that business, right? Acumen mixed with family. And you can have that. But the thing about it is you need to make your family a part of the business. And you need to make the business a part of your family, right? Vice versa. How you do that in the first place is you need to find a significant other that you can trust, right? And this is why it is that I say that time would tell because time would tell ultimately because you build a trust with these people. Literally a trust that is a financial backing as much as it is a word as much as it is a, a state of being a trust a trust state a trust is basically an inheritance it's it's in state basically and the thing about it is that that's how it is that families handle their business behind the scenes they create trust i.e. an inheritance right as to where you know with each other and amongst their little ones that is that are coming up so that's how it is that the, you you bring your family into the same business with uh your business <laughs> you create a trust an inheritance right and you make sure that everybody is covered i, I talked about this in my book go and pick up love pays the bills by me kareem Rayma l go ahead it is it is available now in uh a digital uh digital download right aka kindle uh paperback and a hardcover at amazon.com please go ahead and pick that up i talk about trusts and all of that stuff but a lot of you aries really do want to have that love let's clarify the ten of pentacles the star queen of swords ace of swords the moon yeah, a lot of you Aries, you know, you're focusing on love and business and that that's the most important thing to you right now. Obviously, your health, business, love right now is, is very important. All those things come in first place. And the star and the queen of swords, you want to be able to inspire your little ones, even if you don't have little ones. Now, if you do, you still want to inspire them. But if, even if you don't have little ones, you want to be able to have some to inspire them. But the Ace of Swords and the Moon now is about how at the same time, you may not necessarily have little ones. But you're trying to build that up. So you need to actually focus on that because a lot of you Aries are going in the correct direction. So find ultimately, you should be looking for someone that is sincere. They show you honesty. They're there for you. They can take care of themselves. They are willing to share with you as well as you're supposed to be will, as well as you are supposed to be all of those things. Yes, including sharing. Because a lot of times what people miss in relationships is they want the other person to be all of those things without having to be all those things themselves. 
and they don't and and when people say things like well like attracts like they don't ever 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 say that when it comes to a relationship that's healthy they only say well like attracts like when it comes to <laughs> uh of uh, failing that uh, some when someone fails in relationships because they're looking for that decent person, right? They always talk about what well, like attracts like and all this stuff. They don't even know what that stuff even means because that's one thing that I need to tell you too, Aries. When it comes to dating out here, you're going to ultimately interact with people that are going to look to be parasite to you Le leech off of you right drain your life force just get everything that they they can get out of you Aries and it's and w don't let people tell you like attracts like blah, 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 because there's more people who who have that parasocial mentality than there's people who's going to actually contribute you just make sure to contribute to the person be all of those things that I just said. And if a person is decent, they will, they will contribute to you as well.